Hey guys, this is Koi coming along with the four month update of my nipple piercing experience. Now I'm basically uh, documenting my journey because I am a little on the bustier side, a little, a hell of a lot on the bustier side and my nipples are not perky. And I went to get my nipples pierced anyway and I absolutely love it. Now my nipples are not up here and they're not down here and they're not here, they're like in this area. Um, I know I can't go without wearing a bra, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I went ahead and did it anyway. I don't fit society's titty beauty standards. And, um, I know a lot of you out there are wondering, should you do it because you don't fit that standard? And I say, do it. Shit. It's your body. Hell, I love that I did it and I'm rocking it, honey. Um, I don't, I don't think I could ever go back. <laughs> so anyway, I was supposed to do a three month update and I apologize for not doing a three month update. I have a shitty internet connection for the past month and you know your internet connection is stupid when it takes 48 hours to upload a seven minute video to YouTube. <laughs> so that's how bad it's been. But anyway, I'm back with a four month update. <laughs> so moving on. Yeah, I got my nipples pierced July 3rd, 2015. It is now October 24th, 2015. So it's like 10 days shy of four months. Um, but I don't think anything's going to happen in four, 10 days. So here's my four month update. <laughs> so what do I use to clean my nipples? I use Hibiclens to clean my nipples. Now it's an antiseptic, antimicrobial skin cleanser. And what I do is in the morning, I clean my nipples twice a day. So in the morning, when I wake up, I'm using the toilet. So as I'm sitting on the toilet, I just take a dab and put it on one side of the barbell. Take another dab, put it on the other side of the barbell, move the barbell back and forth to get it on the inside a little bit. Do the same thing with the other nipple and let it sit. By the time I get off the toilet, I'm ready to get in the shower, lather it up, wash it off as normal. Um, and that's what works for me. I stopped using the dial soap and other antimicrobial soaps because this this works for me this is better I it's antiseptic and antimicrobial and not just my nipples I put this shit on everything like the hot sauce put this shit on everything um I when I'm washing my hair I just put a little bit on my scalp and Sometimes I wash my body with it, so I'm addicted to this stuff. I don't use it all the time on my body, but <laughs> it just feels so much cleaner. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I use to wash it. Then when I get out of the shower, I take a little bit of lavender oil. Now this is 100% pure essential oil. I use nothing else. I use lavender oil, one dab on one side, one dab on the other side, same thing with the other nipple. Use it with a Q-tip, one side for one nipple, one side for the other nipple, and then throw it away. One and done. Keep it sanitary, y'all. Keep it clean. Um, and then just to follow up to moisturize my nipples, I do the same thing with a Q-tip, but I use coconut oil. So I take one side of the Q-tip, dip it in the coconut oil, and rub it around my areola. Dip the other side in the coconut oil and I moisturize the other areola. Throw away the second Q-tip. And then that's it. That's my regimen. I stopped using the sea salt soaks. I stopped doing the dial soap and I st it was just it taking too much damn time. That and the sea salt soaks left my nipples dry, ashy, and ugly. And ain't nobody got time for dry, ashy, and ugly nipples. So, I mean, I stopped doing that a month and a half in to my journey. And it's the best thing I could have done for myself. It didn't work for me. I mean, if it's working for you, I'm not knocking it. Whatever works for you, do it. It just did not work for me at all. <laughs> so this is what I do. And I will definitely leave links down below to everything that I use. Um, I don't think I need to leave links for paper towels and Q-tips, do I? I don't. I hope I don't, <laughs> but the coconut oil, Hiva Cleanse, and the lavender oil will definitely have a link below. Um, now, that's my cleaning process. What have I noticed as far as a change? Uh, nothing. Uh, 
I, well, you know what? No, let me back up. There has been a change. I don't, um, I haven't, my journey hasn't been horrible. I haven't had a horrible, it, I haven't had smells. I haven't had crusties. I haven't had anything bad to report. So my, my experience has been lovely. Um, so I, I, that as far as like recovering from something bad that has happened, I have not had that. It, it's just been a smooth process. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the skin around the barbell is more donut hole-like. Instead of looking at the skin and it just being raw, like a freshly pierced nipple, it's more donut hole. Like on the on the middle of a donut hole, how it's round and... It just looks healed. I know they're not healed. They say it takes about six months for an upper ring to heal. Um, but that's what the skin looks like. It looks more donut hole like around the nipple uh, ring. Um, hell, sex is great. I'm getting them luck, licked and sucked. And I just wash after words. So I have no problems with that. And one thing that has happened to me is that I've gained 15 pounds. I've gained 15 pounds in the four months. So as far as weight gain, that has not affected the nipple piercings. Um, just my breasts are fuller. My nipples have not eaten the barbells or become so large for the nipple ring. Um, so I, that's the only major thing. I've gained 15 pounds. Um, sex is great still, <laughs> and my cleaning process, I still bump into things, um, I still bump into walls and car doors and people, and it hurts for a bit, it, and, but it, the pain goes away, um, they, I don't wake up with them angry at me as far as, like, you know, crusties on the end or anything, um, one, you know what, one thing happened, and I was like, what the hell, I woke up one day, and there was a dab of blood on it. And I was just like, well, what? what? But I don't know, just cleaned it off and went about my business. I wasn't too alarmed. I was just like, okay, well, they're still healing. They're doing crazy shit. It is what it is. Just cleaned it off and went about my day. And I probably wear bras at night every other night because it's still a little warm here in Cali and I still have my fan on. And when it's cooler, you feel your nipple ring because the metal's cooling down and you just feel it, um, so it gets a little irritating. At night, it's irritating because the fan is on for so long, and I'm asleep for about six hours, seven hours, and just imagine a cool, you know, piece of metal in your nipple for six, seven hours. So I just put on a bra to prevent it being um, irritating, but that's it. That's it, y'all. Um, I love them. I love it. I I would not go back. I would not take them out. And basically the only thing I'm checking for right now is rejection. Um, I've been reading that a lot of people tend to go four years and they reject or uh, yeah, their, nip, their body just rejects the nipple ring. So I'm just looking out every other day for that. I don't see, there is no change in movement with the nipple ring. I'm just I don't want them to reject, so I just check for it. That's all. Um, that's it. I don't have anything else to update, y'all, within these four months. I just, it's just for my bustier girls, y'all. If y'all want it done, get it done. I love mine. <laughs> and you will love yours. <laughs> Comment, subscribe, like. Leave any questions below. Nobody's asking me any questions. I mean, I know I don't have any problems going on, but... This is my journey. Ask me any questions if you have any. I'm a bustier girl. I'm a big boobed girl. I'm a 40G bra size. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Don't hesitate to ask. And the links for everything I use will be below. So thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.